Wellness Vlogmas Day 5. Thing my husband gonna do for me is start my car up every time it is so cold my car is saying it's 35 degrees out and i don't have like automatic start i have push to start but in his truck he has automatic start but he doesn't have push to start <laughs> first world problems look at what the workers are doing i remember i think i saw it in our local news that they were gonna be doing this. Oh, that's so cute. You got all of the police cars, fire trucks, toll trucks, garbage trucks, all the trucks out here decorating their car. Oh, they're all waving. It's so cute. so dope. Oh, what a nice little thing for the holiday season. They decorated all of the, um, like the police cars, fire trucks, all the people who like work, like all the people who work um, in the local area, I guess they dressed up their cars and like Santa stuff or whatever and they're just driving around town. Oh wow. Yeah, it's real nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So today is night two of two for my overnight shifts. If you're new here, hi, my name is Janae and I work overnight as an ER tech and I lost 124 pounds. And so I'm just sharing my journey on my weight loss journey, my wellness journey, my fitness journey, all things. So if you watched yesterday's video, then you know that I had left off talking about my sleep and how Yesterday was a 28, 29 hour day for me where I was up um, since, what was that, Tuesday at 4.30 this morning and I didn't go to sleep until this morning when I got off shift. And so I can't remember off the top of my hand what my Garmin watch said my sleep score was this morning. But after getting some sleep, my sleep score is now 71. And it still says that it's fair because I only had six hours according to them. But again, I don't really rely on the technology of my Garmin watch for my sleep. I really like my Aura Ring. It's been way more consistent and it just gives me some more data. So according to my Aura Ring, my sleep pattern, um, my sleep score is a 75. So it says I slept from a little bit past eight to 4.30. This is the sleep tab. And so, yeah, it said I slept a total of six hours and 49 minutes. Time in bed, though, was eight hours and three minutes. Um, my sleep score is a 75, which is good. Um, I mean, actually, it, the scores, because it breaks it down in all of these different categories right here, the scores is not that bad. I don't have um, too much in the red except for the timing, and that's obvious because I slept during the day um so yeah not not bad and actually i woke up according to this it says i woke up at 2 49 you know what yes i did actually i woke up right before three i remember looking at the time and i woke up right before three so i slept from like eight a little bit past eight until um 2 45 9 10 11 12 1 2 so yeah i got about six hours and 30 minutes so yesterday i was like i'm lucky enough to get five hours of sleep because i was so tired and i took the sleeping pill and two benadryls my magnesium glycinate and my l-theanine it really just like put me out to sleep and um, I'm so glad I was able to get a good slot of sleep. I didn't even wake up at 11. Normally that's my routine is that I'll like wake up to use the bathroom. I was knocked out. But sometimes with that, it kind of worked against me where now since I slept so long, I won't go back to sleep. Um, but I'll still end up starting to feel tired again. And that's what happened today. Like I had a couple things to do. I had to edit yesterday's vlog. And so I could not go back to sleep. I just pretty much laid in the bed. But about 
4 30 i started feeling tired again i if i allowed myself i could have went back to sleep um so yeah sometimes like getting that sleep it just work against me when i'm overly tired like that other things that it tells me it tells me what cycle of sleep i'm in whether that's REM or whatever it tells me my resting heart rate and all of that stuff it all of this information i use to help with my recovery because it says my daytime stress i was stressed um so i love the technology on this if you have an aura ring let me know how you use it in your day-to-day -day life um or if you have any specific questions on my aura ring and the different things that i use it for let me know because i was also talking about how i have it linked to my natural cycles um app and it'll tell me my specific body temperature which was 97.45 i'm it's a lot of information so i am hoping that tonight is a chill night but at the looks of the parking lot <laughs> it's at least not going to start off that way like i don't park in the back um when i work night shift especially not during the winter or when it's raining outside my manager be like park in the back it's for you know closer parking let's leave it for the patients and i'm like no <laughs> no um but today i had to park all the way in the back which is going to make wanting to go to the gym during my break even harder because nobody wants to step out in the cold but normally for my gym sessions i don't work out like every single day as far as the gym is concerned i actually only go to the gym three times per week which is normally monday wednesday fridays um but when i'm at work i try to do as much as i can to be productive and utilize my time efficiently um so i just rather like knock the workout out that way i can shuffle around that time to do something else so today is wednesday i'll do my wednesday routine but i didn't actually end up going to the gym on monday so yesterday i did monday's routine well this morning i did monday's routine and then tomorrow i will do wednesday's routine yes and then friday i'll just do my regular normal routine when it gets there but i am a runner and i am a lifter i do feel like you can have both and have and build the body that you want and so that has been like my main thing is just showing everyone that you can still weight train lift heavy and be a runner and so I do three total body workouts where I prioritize um, compound movements so that the workouts and the exercises that I'm doing, there is a target muscle or a primary muscle that it is working on, but there's also secondary muscles that help supporting that as well. That's also getting trained. Um, so along with doing compound movements, I do progressive overload. And I do train into failure. So with train into failure, I'll probably have like two working sets and three to four sets that I'm constantly building up the strength, the progressive overload. And then I'm training till pretty much failure. Um, that is how you build the strength and grow the muscle and stimulate the muscle. And so, um, and then every time I go to the gym, my goal is to go up in pounds even if it's just a little bit just go up in pounds and that's how I know I'm building my strength I use the heavy app which I showed y'all yesterday this is what the app looks like um I use the heavy app to build my routine and then it also like tracks um what it is that I'm doing it tracks like how much strength I'm building as I'm doing that workout. Like it just, it, it tracks everything. I really actually enjoy this app. Um, it makes me figuring out the math of it all so much simpler. Yeah, so that is how I do my fitness. That is what is working for me and that I found balance between um, the things that I like to do and the things that I need to do for my body. After weight loss surgery and taking the GLP-1, you know that you can lose a lot of muscle mass. And so I'm really, I'm getting closer and closer to my goal weight of 150. I'm at 163 right now. My highest weight was 287 pounds. And I'm 5'5", because somebody always asks me how tall I am. But, um, but even though I'm getting closer to my goal weight, I have shifted my focus on goal weight and moved it to 
my body, my physique, and all that stuff. And so even though I'm 163, I still have about 32% body fat. And um, I have really been trying to cut that body fat down as much as possible and lean out and, you know, grow that muscle. And I know that muscle um, weighs more than fat, but it also leans you out. Like it will change the look of your body. So that is what I have been focusing on. So I do three total body workouts um, per week. And then I run five times per week. I run Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesday is a break, Thursdays, Friday, and Saturday. Um, so that is my current and foreseeable future routine. But it's time for me to go ahead and go and clock in. So I will chat with y'all later. It has been so crazy out there today. Like... I didn't even pick y'all up for my nine o'clock break. I just ate dinner and left. It started off so chill, so chill. And then of course, the after dinner rush came and the urgent care closing rush came and they just come in, kept coming in herds at a time. <sighs> I am so drained. I am so tired. It's 2.53 in the morning and I'm just now getting on break and I am not going to the gym. I'm about to go into the little room, little office we have and take in an hour nap if I can. This is our staff bathroom in the break room and we have this board here where we'll just write something for the month and everybody will put their response. So I put this question yesterday, what's your favorite Christmas song? And everyone's just writing theirs. I need to add mine to the board. It has been hours since I got off work. So let me catch y'all up. Today's vlog is just not fulfilling at all. First of all, when I first came into work, it was dead, which I think I talked about this on my break, but when I first came to work, it was dead. And then like about eight o'clock, it had started like people were just coming in, coming in, coming in. And we got so busy and the busyness just drained me. I could not even like keep my eyes open. I was just so tired. Um, so I didn't end up going to the gym. I did try to take a nap on break. And when I came back from break, we probably had like an hour of chill time, um, between the next crazy bunch of patients coming in. And it was like that all morning, like all morning. I, uh, my goodness. And so um, when I got off, I pretty much went right to sleep. Now, on the days that I don't have to go back into work, I try my best not to sleep all day so that I can go to sleep, you know, at night so I can get my normal um, sleep. But I slept all day. I told myself since I didn't go to the gym that I was going to run. It's 435. I could still probably go run. But I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I don't want to at all. So I'm about to look at my um my aura ring to see what my sleep score looks like. Oh, I'm about to smack on some pineapple too. I feel so dehydrated from not drinking. Like, look, look at my daytime stress. I am stressed. <laughs> My heart rate is a little elevated too. Okay, yeah. So my readiness score is a 65, which is what how my body feels overall. And then my sleep score is a 62. Look, if y'all saw it from this morning, I think it was this morning when I showed y'all or last night. You know what I mean? Um, I showed y'all like the different factors and I didn't have a bunch of red. Like today I, I had a bunch of red, my total sleep. And this is including, I think this is including all of the naps. My total sleep was five hours. My REM sleep was only 53 minutes and the timing was also in the red zone. So even though I felt like I slept all day, I didn't actually like sleep. I tossed and turned in the bed all day. I woke up went back down. So like, yeah, it has me, um, a 45 minute 
nap, which did not contribute to my sleep score. And then it says that I went to bed from 9 to 146. Yeah, <laughs> that will be correct. And then I was like kind of just in and out, in and out, and then not asleep since 146. I don't even think it really picked up on that. I did get a couple of packages from Amazon. So let's see what I got. I feel like I'm missing stuff too. Maybe more stuff is supposed to come this weekend. But for now, I don't got what it is I need. Because I only got two things in here. Okay. Yes, I don't know if you've heard from about this company. It's called Salt Sticks. But they have... Um, just, I guess, chewable electrolyte tablets. And so I saw these in REI. It's like a little outdoorsy type of place. Um, as I was checking out and I was like, oh, this looks pretty interesting. So I bought a packet and I was like, this is actually pretty good. And so this is what they look like. They're fast chews. Um, I got the variety box off of Amazon. So it has lemon lime, comes with two packs of the lemon lime. The Tarte Tangerine, I believe this is also two packs. I think that was the one that I had bought too. Mixed Berry is two of these. Watermelon is two of these. Green Apple is two of these. And then there's one peach and one coconut lime. And each packet has 10. Yeah, because the service size is two and it says there's five. So each packet has 10. Macros on these, there's 10 calories, two carbs, two sugar. Um, it has 10 milligrams of calcium, six milligrams of magnesium citrate, a hundred of sodium and 30 of potassium. So a nice little boost. Um, it's not like super high, um, numbers of the electrolytes, but it's a little boost. Take two tablets every 15 to 30 minutes during physical activity for up to 15 tablets daily to improve electrolyte absorption. Let fast chew dissolve in your mouth before swallowing. What I've noticed is since it's gotten so cold here in um, Washington that I just don't drink water. Like I always bring my water with me on my runs, but I don't end up drinking it because you don't really... Like, even when I'm speed running, I'm not really working up a thirst to be wanting to drink water. And normally, I bring my electrolytes with me on my runs, and so I, I end up not drinking it. Yeah, I'm still missing my shirt. Well, that's that's all I'm missing is my shirt. So, I also got another pair of thermal running outside leggings. I actually really like these, but the last ones I bought was... um too big it was a size large and then I accidentally washed them and I was going to return it for a medium but I had already washed it already popped off the tags <laughs> just bugging so it's it's all good these are what they look like they're just fleece line black leggings um they're actually really comfy so I'll link these two in the description box below let me know if you're a runner or if you're trying to get into running or even just like a walker outside and you want a winter running essentials video because I did that video for TikTok and Instagram and a lot of people found it helpful so I'm thinking about just doing a whole video for YouTube as well in addition to these daily vlogs so let me know if you're interested in that in the comments below I honestly could go right back to sleep that's how exhaustedly tired I am and previously on different weight loss journeys I used to be so upset at myself and kick myself if I missed a workout if I did not get a workout in and though I still I don't want to say feel bad but I know like I missed that workout and I know how working out makes me feel so I miss that feeling I also do understand the importance of resting your body. I tell people all the time on TikTok and Instagram, and if you're not following me on TikTok and Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I'm always having these types of conversations over there. But especially on TikTok Live, people always ask me, how do I break my stall? You know, I've been stuck at this weight. I've plateaued. And stress and sleep are two big factors in that. People don't understand and realize that 
those little things also matter on your weight loss journey it's not just about the calories you're eating and the food you're intaking and the workouts you're doing like if you're stressing your body you're not actively recovering you're not getting an adequate amount of sleep you can also stall your journey as well and so I listen to my body I make it a point to listen to my body and give it what it needs like sometimes my body will tell me I want to sleep every day that ain't gonna happen right <laughs> like that is not what we're gonna do we have to find a balance between listening to our bodies and you know breaking the unhealthy or lazy habits but on times like these when I know I am like so exhausted I just work i did so many steps like I think yesterday I ended up um, closing out yesterday at like 17,000 steps um, today I don't even know where I'm at today it may it, it may be a lot lower because I slept all day but like I still I, seven, 7,200 steps is what I did today and so um, I still like actively move my body and I'm not going to discredit the things that I do I'm going to listen and rest tomorrow is a new day and we will get right back on it so if you're listening to this and hearing this consider that consider how much day-to-day -day stress you're putting your body and your mind through consider how much recovery you're actually giving yourself in between workouts consider how tired you are and not only how much you're sleeping because i told y'all i was in the bed all day but according to my aura ring i did not sleep for the amount of time that i was actually in bed um and even if i did sleep for eight hours because y'all saw for the four hours i slept that was not a good quality sleep it was low quality i did not have a high rim cycle like the timing was off etc etc so think about these things as you're going through your journey because we want to make this a lifelong thing we don't want to lose weight and then now do this yo-yo thing i've done the yo-yo dieting for years now for over a decade I don't want to do that no more I truly want to make this a lifelong journey and do that means considering everything that contributes to my health and wellness and not just for weight loss purposes so think about that So I just went and grabbed some groceries for dinner tonight. I had to go ground beef, but I just did not know. I knew what to make, but I just didn't know what I wanted. Um, whether that be ziti, spaghetti, chili, like, and these three things are always in the rotation. So I talked to my husband. He wanted chili, but I'm like, eh, eh. Um, and so I'm like, well, we haven't had tacos in a while. Um, so we're gonna do some hard shell tacos tonight and I know like maybe two vlogs ago I was talking about um making things for dinner that will be macro friendly for me but also satisfy my family tacos are a great cheat code when you're a mom and a wife and you're not trying to make multiple meals but you're also still trying to stick with your um calorie intake and your macro intake so I do 93 7 lean ground beef lean ground beef tastes so much better than ground turkey it's less fat I'm still getting the protein in and it actually tastes good because I'm not a fan of eating things that are nasty that is labeled healthy for the sake of weight loss like no I still want my food to taste good so um I'll do that I can make me a um a little salad bowl and they can enjoy their hard shells if they want to but i actually just picked up these gluten-free hard shells from um whole foods the other day from this brand that i really enjoy their stuff um it's cleaner ingredients and stuff like that so i think i'm gonna try that tonight because it's not like i'm eating a low carb diet like i need the carbs to fuel both my gym sessions and my running so i'm not really tripping off of carbs um plus i really can't eat that much anyway um 
But yeah, it's about to be a very chill night. I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna edit this vlog. Hopefully I can piece together some clips since all I did was sleep. <laughs> so hopefully you still find some value in this but that is going to be enough talking for me for now i will show y'all dinner and i will catch y'all tomorrow